Okay, well, this, uh, this feels like this has taken way longer than it should. <laughs> right, Hudson? Way longer than it should? Maybe. So we have a very green trailer. We have a bunch of newspaper and tape. And it's up on jack stands. Everything's masked. Last thing of paint, I think. Maybe. Hopefully. Praying. Because <laughs> the weather, it's a changing. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so, trailer's been wiped down with some uh, prep wipe there. Basically, it's just uh, a little bit of cleaner, wax and grease remover, etc. Uh, just like I did for the bare metal for the primer, and then on top of the primer when I went and painted the green. Now we're going to go ahead and toss on some of this. Um, I'm going with this instead of just regular paint, because everywhere where I'm painting this black is going to see some heavier uh, abuse uh, when this was being rebuilt we wanted to make sure that uh, stuff like this where we're we were going to be able to step on it to use it as like a mounting block um, same deal up here be able to step on it and abuse it a little bit um, and not worry about scuffing up the paint too much which would be why these feet are also getting painted is because obviously they're going to be touching the ground and as you can see from the one or two times I've actually had to put this down already, it chipped that paint really easy just because of the, the gravel. Um, so yeah. Alright, let's see how, uh, how this does. Fingers crossed it's good. Alright, so maybe it's just this one can, I don't know. It's spraying, but I'm not a fan of it because I have to keep spraying or shaking it like mad. And it's doing this. Let's see if we can... And then just the propellant is coming out. See? Nothing. And I shake it again. Really good. I'll get that and then propellant. This might take a while. Okay, so I went through two pairs of that. Sorry if the camera's still shaking, because I'm still shaking this one. There are two cans of that, I should say. Um, I found it was only working if I had it upside down, so I'm guessing that the tube inside there was uh, knocked off, whether by being dropped or something, I don't know. So you can sort of see it was just spraying like pure liquid. So I'm very glad that this is not being judged on, um, you know, being a really nice paint job because runs. Oh my goodness. But it's getting done. It's not looking too terribly bad. All right. Well, it's next day. This is what four cans of that gets you. Uh, evidently, it was not the... Uh, pick up inside the can that was causing the issue it's just the product I guess because uh, every single can did it so uh, yeah but this is uh, kind of an idea what it's gonna look like not bad I don't think leaving the paper on because I still have some touch-ups to do but uh, feels good. It feel it actually does feel like bed liner, not just paint, which is good. Um, hmm, we're gonna have to do some touch-ups there because my tape let go. 
part of the problem with this stuff was, like I said, it, you can sort of see it just sprayed it like water as opposed to, you know, being a, an, more of an aerosol. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see where I need to uh, still get more, more stuff put on. But all the tape is starting to let go. So hopefully I can get that done tonight. The local store mercifully will have some more kicking around. Um, otherwise, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now there are obviously a couple of spots where I'm going to have to try touching up. Those spots I don't mind so much here because this is... For for the spare tire so let's see if I can see back here yeah, it's not bad don't mind so much about that because like I said it's for the spare tire it's more just to make sure it doesn't end up rotting but uh, kind of get an idea what it's going to look like just got to finish painting the tongue yeah that's going to be okay all right, well, let's try and finish this. And after all this painting is finally done. Got the bearings and brakes. All right, well, clearly the seasons are changing. <sighs> that last little clip, I mentioned that... Uh, Hoping that the store would have some more bed liner. Apparently nobody in the area at the moment has any of this bed liner. Great. So, uh, it's getting cold enough now that everything is absolutely soaked in the morning. And I really didn't want to have all that paper holding all the water against this trailer. Um, so... We took off all the paper until we can try and get more bed liner. Uh, the one side is done, thankfully. Uh, over here, this is, the wheels aren't actually on, they're just sitting on the hubs, but that's basically what it's gonna look like. There's still that, the rubber mats to sort of deaden any sound from uh, gravel or anything, hitting the, the front so it doesn't freak the horses out, but that's, that's it. That's what she's going to look like. So, we're almost there. Um, even the back, it's really not really not bad. A couple spots that need touch touching up, like uh, here, obviously, it got through. And again, you can just see like how much that's that basically sprayed it like liquid. It was not atomized into an aerosol at all. But... This stuff feels really good. Nothing's coming off. Like it's, it seems like it's going to be nice. Again, grab some more key lime and we'll touch that up. Even here, it's really not, it's not bad, but it needs that little bit more, just a little bit to touch up on that. But all in all, there's the painting. There we go. She's done. Uh, I also do need to paint this. I forgot about that. Next up, maybe next year, is getting all this wiped down with that crud cutter. But I know it's not going to get as wet and nasty in here as outside, so I'm really not as worried. Like that's been about a year now, I guess, with it like that, and it's barely got surface rust, so... Not concerned about that as I was about what's out here. Alright, well, while she's up on stands, and now that I do have everything that I need to paint back here done, let's get to some bearings. And the one that I'm kind of scared of because I don't entirely know if the brakes that I got are going to actually fit this. Uh, what, the ones I got are for a 3,500 pound axle. That's what these should be, but who knows? I'm also a little nervous if I can get a shot of that. 
of those. They actually don't look too bad, but there's a lot of a lot of rust and crud and yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get those drums off. See if uh, the drums it should be good. Let's see if I can replace the brake assemblies. I mean for the sh uh, shoes and that. And we'll be off to the races. But that's for another time. Have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you later.